quick note about disc brake wheels and the performance uh, impact that disc brakes have on road bikes or, or on time trial bikes in that matter. Um, at Swiss side we build all of our wheels, Hadron Classic as well as the Hadron Ultimate wheels, in both rim brake and disc brake options. But many people ask, what's the penalty of a disc brake wheel in terms of the aerodynamics? Um, you hear from some brands that, uh, that there's no aerodynamic penalty. This is not correct. Um, a disc brake wheel brings with it around about a 2 watt penalty, measured at 45 kilometres an hour. It's not a lot. And when you consider the benefits that you have in terms of all weather conditions, great braking, um, it's not a bad compromise to be had. But just about those two watts, where do they come from? So quite simply, they come from the hub. Uh, we've already mentioned in the past that the hub is very important for the aerodynamics because it's a cylinder. The bigger the cylinder, the bigger the wake. And the bigger the wake, the bigger the drag you get from the wheel. So with a disc brake wheel, we have a much bigger hub because of the torque transfer that you need to have for the disc brake braking loads. And as well, you have more spokes. So these two things together lead to more drag. There are arguments to say that you can have a better integration without having the brake caliper, uh, the rim brake brake caliper on the front of the bike that leads to an aerodynamic benefit. These things are true, but they don't compensate for the two watt delta that you lose on the front wheel. So you can recuperate, say, up to one watt of those, uh, um, of those losses, but let's say in general, a disc brake wheel bike is always going to be a small loss compared to a rim brake wheel, um, um, a rim brake wheel bike. Uh, in terms of the aerodynamics, but it's a loss that's quite small and it's a loss that's worth considering in terms of the better braking performance.